Morning folks, welcome to an ICC Daily Queensland Weather Up. Today, the 20th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by townsvilsheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe, accredited shed. All right, we've got a lot of light patchy rain, lots of cloud cover across the uh, eastern and northern parts of the state. A little bit of uh, remnant convection from last night across the Maranoa Warrego. We're expecting to see some decent storms out there through the Maranoa Warrego Central West and Channel Country today. We're expecting to see quite a few showers around the eastern seaboard, particularly enhanced as we get into tonight and early tomorrow around the Mackay to Townsville or Mackay to Ingham coastline. And once again we're expecting to see a couple of showers and storms up there in the far north. Rainfall until 9 o'clock this morning. We saw some nice storms there across southern inland Queensland and pushing up into central inland Queensland. Localised falls in the 20 to 30 millimetre range. Quite a few showers on the east coast from anywhere from the Gold Coast all the way up to Cooktown. And then we've had uh, shower and storm activity up through the Cape. Biggest fall of the day was Kawanyama with 138 millimetres there. Uh, and also Highbury with 138 millimetres. That's a station in far north Queensland. Rightio, through the day today we're going to see quite a few showers around the eastern coastline, most of them generally light. There might be some slightly uh, heavier stuff around the Townsville to Ingham or Townsville to Tully coastline and adjacent inland areas. You can see some convection building up from late this morning into this afternoon across southern inland and central inland parts of the state as you can see there on your screen. So some pretty decent, when we start to get green in this convective precip, there could be some decent falls, localised falls associated with those showers and storms. As always, showers and storms are going to be hitting uh, we can see also across the afternoon some inland showers developing through the Herbert Burdick and inland through the northern Gulf Fields, Upper Flinders. Showers and storms, particularly in the western parts of the Gulf Country of Queensland and into the Northern Territory, where we could see some heavy falls there in the NT. Showers and storms also expected across the northwestern parts of the Cape. You can see there's little blue splotches in a lot of areas here, suggesting some inland shower activity through the afternoon. Uh, some slightly better stuff in the north, and some much better stuff in the far north and the uh, and the Gulf country. All right, so that's as we go through the evening and night time hours. We see increasing showers developing in the Mackay with Sunday's coastline overnight tonight and then spreading up to the Herbert Burdekin coastline tomorrow as we increase uh, the, the southeasterly stream showers, but also we develop a weak surface trough across the Western Coral Sea to result in increased rainfall there. Accumulated rainfall between now and 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We can see significant showers developing around this coastline from just north of St. Lawrence through to about Tully. Ingham Innisfail area uh, and we see showers and thunderstorms across the Gulf Country and up in the far northern Cape. We also see a little bit of convective precip across the inland parts of the state. Some of these showers and storms might actually be quite strong across the southern and central inland parts today and notice that we see quite a bit of shower activity both on the coast around eastern and southeastern Queensland but also potentially in the afternoon along the ranges and the escarpment areas. Winds across the state, south easterlies basically everywhere across uh, eastern eastern Queensland, south easterlies 15 to 20 knots in a lot of areas across central and north Queensland. As we progress into the overnight period, there's this little squeeze zone just in here which increases the shower activity to its south and you can see it coming onto the coastline in the north tropical coast uh, region tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, but certainly going to enhance the shower activity, particularly just offshore off this coastline, but also I suspect we're going to see some flow on effects onto the coastline as well. Monsoon's heating up later this week, so if you want to know more about that, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au, check out our subscription options, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.